A Fox Found a Box by Jed Adamson This book was written for Laura. Fox was searching. Somewhere under the snow there was food, and to find it, he had to dive in. Again? And again! Ouch! This didn't look like food. But what was it? Nobody seemed to know. I think it's a box, said Owl. There was a stick on top that moved. There were round things on it that looked interesting. What if I just... The fox is singing, chirped the birds. The animals began to swish their tails, flap their wings, and move their feet. It felt nice. Every day they would listen to the box. Sometimes the music made them feel dreamy. Sometimes it made them feel sort of sad. Oh. Sometimes it made them want to rock out. And every night, the box's music filled the forest. Until one morning, the box stopped singing. The animals poked it? Boop, boop. Fox tried burying it and digging it back up. He thought maybe the box was too cold. Fox tried warming it up. But nothing would make the box sing again. Then something happened. Fox heard a sound. It went drip, drop, drip, drop. His ears twitched. His tail swished. One paw tapped, then the other. The fox's whole body moved to the drip-drop beat. Now the other animals heard the forest too. The whoosh of the wind. The chitter-chatter of the geese. The crunch-crunch of the snow underfoot. And the gurgle-gurgle of the river. They started to notice everything. The smell of the pine trees, the falling snow, the beautiful view. And every night, the animals would nestle down, close their eyes, and let the forest sing them to sleep. It felt nice. The end.